Okay, so here's the reason why I'm here today, mainly I have a new headlamp, but actually it's not mine. Um, if you've seen in my previous videos, I think the first two wild camps I didn't actually have a headlamp and um, I ended up being, I was given one by my brother just to borrow, just to try out. And he has an energizer, he like, you know, this is his holy grail of headlamps or torches but he's not actually an outdoorsman, uh, he doesn't, I have a feeling he's never tried out a Petzl for example, but he, he's adamant that he tried out many brands before he bought his, uh, his Energizer, and then he said he's sticking with it for life because it's the best thing he's ever bought in terms of lighting gear for camping. So anyway, um, I did have to give that back at some point. Uh, his one was, if you haven't seen the videos that I used it in, the modes on it is, bright LED red then I think it was like very bright white medium bright white and then a small uh, a white which like illuminated your area but didn't like give you away completely and then it had a flashing mode and then it went off the thing is it only had one button so if you're in a stealth camp that was my issue with it you start with red and then when you want to go off of red you have to run through all the other modes to actually switch it off and that's why I like this one so much. This one is missing the flashing mode, so it doesn't have your emergency beacon kind of flashing, hey, I'm here, come rescue me thing. But it's got the other ones as well. So it's got, the thing I like about it, it's got two buttons. So when you switch red for your stealth, you can actually switch it off with this one. So there's no need to go through all the other modes. I remember feeling like such an idiot when I arrived at the uh, wild camp, one of them, and I arrived after dark. And that was the first one where I was using the, the head torch. That was a uh, wild camp number three. And uh, I wasn't sure because I arrived off the dock. I wasn't sure if anyone else was in the woodland, any other rough sleepers or even wild campers or campers or, you know, people who are just wanting to get away from society for some reason. And uh, it was pretty mental because every time I obviously went off, used the red light, I had to put my hand over the torch and then put my finger behind and switch. <laughs> to get because obviously the flashing mode is just like that's gonna that's just gonna give you away you know um, but that's cool so you switch it on like this obviously and you can switch it off there so all modes are red bright bright light and then off that's all the modes in this one it does click down you can work on your space typical adjustable strap just like the other one, pretty comfortable. Um, I found sometimes it was quite easy for this to flip out of here. Not, not while you're trying to do it, but you know, quite often you could find in your pocket or something this came out. The price of this, um, it always goes out of my mind what I spent on things. But it was just around 10 pounds. Uh, my brother said that he bought his many years ago for like only 8 pounds, he reckons. I don't know, maybe that was just when uh, Energizer just started entering the uh, head torch camping market, who knows. So basically, this is just around 10 pounds, I could be wrong, it could have been like 12 pounds, but obviously in on the video I'm going to put the actual price, I'm going to put in your currency as well, well quite a few currencies. And that's that, so I'm going to temporarily use these every time I go out camping. It's not mine, I bought two for my kids because when, the, when my brother borrowed me his torch, they enjoyed playing with that so much and I said just for a little present for them before we start getting to camping season going off with the family camping out um, thought I'd buy them a couple torches just to have fun while it's so dark at night the family often goes on little walks um, on the weekend when just to get out and get some fresh air we come into this park here actually because it's not too far from my house and we often leave kind of late we end up spending more time outside than we think and we end up coming home after dark so they'll obviously enjoy playing with this so it's a good thing yeah I bought my kids a present and I'll be able to use this until I personally have the budget to say all right now I'm gonna buy that particular one that I want to buy uh, 